Hello and welcome to Crime Watch Daily Updates. I'm your host, Anna Garcia. Anna Carrillo was a daughter and a sister, but she was first and foremost known as being a doting mother. So when she didn't pick up her kids one day in September of 2017, everyone knew something was wrong. Anna lived close to Grand Rapids in Western Michigan and worked in a factory. She had three kids with her ex-boyfriend, Andrew Hudson, and the two dated on and off for several years. That summer, however, she reportedly pulled the plug and moved in with one of her friends. On September 3rd of 2017, Anna was supposed to get her children from Andrew's house, but she never showed up. Andrew went to Anna's mom's house to tell her Anna didn't pick up the kids, and Anna's mom, Bertie, went to go search for her. Anna's roommate also became concerned because Anna borrowed her car and promised to be back in 20 minutes. Later that night, police found the car in a parking lot near Andrew's house. Anna's family and police went to talk to Andrew, and it resulted in lots of shouting between Andrew and Anna's family. Andrew had reportedly abused Anna while they were in a relationship, and he had been convicted twice. About 12 hours after Anna disappeared, Andrew was seen burning some items in his backyard. He said it was waste, but police discovered he put clothes in the burn pile. Detectives obtained a search warrant for Andrew's house and found blood in the basement, kitchen, and a bathroom. Police arrested Andrew on suspicion of killing Anna, but he wasn't the only one put behind bars. Andrew's parents, as well as his dad's common-law wife, were all taken into custody for perjury and other charges. In November of 2017, police found Anna's body on a piece of land that Andrew's mother owned. Anna reportedly died at Andrew's home, but then her body was moved to the other property. Andrew confessed that he stabbed Anna in the throat, killing her. He pleaded guilty in December of 2017 to second-degree murder and tampering with evidence. As part of the plea deal, prosecutors dropped the other charges against him and his family members. In January of 2018, a judge sentenced him to 40 to 100 years in prison for the death of Anna. He will be eligible for parole when he is 79 years old. Let's look back at the case of a loving mother and her brutal death caused by her angry ex-boyfriend. A Sunday morning in September, and mother of three, Anna Carrillo, has vanished. I miss her so much, and I wish I had her here again. An intense search reveals shocking secrets. He made some statement. If they find the body, I'm Arrests pile up. Then why would you get your family involved in it? Can I ask you about the charges against your parents? <laughs> Anger boils over. You had no idea what else you do, mother. Will finding her calm the storm? Anna Carrillo worked hard in a Wyoming, Michigan factory to provide for her family. She worked. Like I said, sometimes 60 hours a week. Yet whatever her kids asked her to do, she did. If the kids wanted to go skydiving, Anna would jump out of the plane with them. So when she didn't bother to pick them up one Sunday in September, Anna's mom, Bertie, was immediately worried. It all started with a knock at the door. She says, who is it? He's, she's, he says, Andrew. She turned around, looked at me, and I'm like, Andrew? Andrew Hudson, the father of Anna's three kids. They dated on and off since they were teenagers, but over the summer, Anna left Andrew and moved in with a friend. I hadn't seen her talk to him since December, and then he shows up in my apartment with his mom. And he said, yeah, and Anna was supposed to come pick up the kids, and she never showed up. And I'm like, what do you mean she didn't show up? Andrew claims after he and Anna got into a big fight on the phone, she was supposed to come pick up the kids. It was just before 8 o'clock that morning when Anna's roommate, Connie, says she asked to borrow the car. She said, I'll be 20 minutes. I said, OK, Cookie. 20 minutes, I'm counting. She said, OK. She never came back. It was now 3 in the afternoon. After they left, I right away caught, tried to call Anna. And the phone rang about four times, and then it went busy. Bertie and her partner, Christy, headed out to search for Anna while Andrew made a few more surprise visits. As my daughter called and said, Andy was at our house. And I was just shocked. 
we don't really have a relationship with him. Amber Bullinger's kids always had play dates with Anna and Andy's children. Amber was shocked to now learn Anna was missing. She says Andrew seemed worried as well. He was so antsy, like his hands shook the whole time. He was just asking questions like, well, do you think that she maybe got into some hardcore drugs or, and I'm like, there's no way. After about an hour, Andy left. He then tracked down Anna's sister, Melinda, by phone. He was like, what's this? I'm hearing your sister's missing. So I'm like, well, I don't know. You tell me. Melinda's mom had just told her the news, but Melinda was sure Anna would turn up. She's crying, so I'm just trying to calm my mom down, and I'm like, I'm sure she's not far. Like, I'll find her. You know, maybe she's just with a friend, or I'll get on Facebook and see. And I did, and nothing. Then, that Sunday evening, a break in the search. Police use OnStar to locate the car Anna had been driving. And where was the car? Right around the corner from where Andrew lives, and parked at a church parking lot. What did you make of that? It wasn't good. When you got word that the car was found, anything about that suspicious that stood out to you? Oh, yeah. Yep. The fact that when we opened the driver's side door, the seat was pushed all the way back. My sister is my height. There is no way she would drive like that. When police finished searching the red Chevy, they head around the corner to Andrew's house on Colby Avenue, and so does Anna's family. It didn't go well. My cousins and everybody else was yelling at him and was like, what'd you do with her? Just tell us where she's at. And he was like, I didn't do nothing. She says Andy blamed Anna's roommate, Connie. And then them two are yelling back and forth. So the cops made us leave. But what cops are about to discover beneath the family shouting would lead to not one, but several shocking arrests. She's only one person, and it took all of you. The day Anna Carrillo didn't show up to get her three kids, her family instantly knew something was terribly wrong. That would never happen. She would never not come and get her kids. Day one of the search for Anna led cops to her abandoned car and to a person with a motive and enough passion to want her gone. He said, well, I hired a detective. And I said, you hired a detective for what? According to Anna's family, the father of her three kids recently told them he'd hired a private investigator to keep tabs on her. They say Andrew Hudson was angry that Anna moved out of their house over the summer and was now living with her friend, Connie. Andy had called and was like, your sister is in trouble. She, um, CPS is about to take the kids from her. And yeah, I hired a private investigator. And you wouldn't imagine the stuff that he found out about her. Just know that your sister and Connie, they are in a relationship. Melinda Gomez says he even claimed to have pictures to prove it, but he wouldn't show them to her. It was never confirmed if he hired a private investigator. Anna's mom, Bertie Carrillo, says her daughter didn't leave for another lover. She had another very good reason to want out. He was abusing her all the time, but she was telling the kids not to let us know. But everyone knew Andy had been convicted twice for beating Anna, including once when she was pregnant with their third child. Melinda believes her sister put up with the abuse because of the couple's kids. Was she afraid that he would attempt to take the kids from her? Yes, he threatened her all the time. So on that September morning, when he told Anna to come pick up the kids at his place, she rushed right over. About 12 hours later, while everyone was looking for Anna, cops rushed to the home on Colby Avenue and immediately spot something suspicious, a fire burning in the backyard. Andy told cops he was burning yard waste, but when the fire was extinguished... There were numerous items buttons, clasps, uh, zippers, a lot of different clothing metal material. A closer look at the buttons revealed the brand name Aeropostal. Cops immediately obtained a search warrant for the house. Once inside, they found more damning evidence. There is a lot of blue there, ma'am. Detectives say the blue in these photos is blood evidence linked to Anna that was found throughout Andy's basement. It was also found in the kitchen and on a bathtub. And in his truck, there were signs someone tried cleaning it up. You can see streaks. You can see arcs 
of rags or towels or whatever that was used to clean up blood. It's just too hard. Even without a body, just five days after she vanished, Andrew Hudson is arrested and charged in Anna's murder, but he's not going to jail alone. In a stunning twist, Andrew's own father is also arrested. We were outraged. Lyle Hudson is charged with perjury for reportedly lying to detectives about a trail camera and images it may have captured. The felony charge could send Lyle to prison for life. Why would you get your family involved in it? Anna's family is appalled, but there's still more to come. And not just one family member. One month later, Andy's mother, Nancy DeCamp, is also arrested, along with his father's common-law wife, Angela Wilson, both charged with perjury for reportedly lying to detectives when questioned about Anna's murder. Angela facing a second charge for allegedly erasing her cell phone after learning she'd have to turn it over to investigators. My sister loved his mom. My sister and his mom were really close. For her to lie or cover up whatever she's covering up, I just don't understand it. She's a mother, obviously. Imagine how my mom feels. You have no idea what else you can mother go alone. Everyone in court knew how Anna's mom felt the day Andrew was arraigned. Bertie Carrillo simply couldn't hold in her anger any longer. If this continues, everybody's going to be excluded from the courtroom. Okay? This cannot happen. With four members of his family now facing charges in connection with Anna's murder. Hi, are you Jamie? We tried talking to Andrew's brother about the case. Uh, hi, police. I have uh, unwanted guests at my house. But Jamie Hudson made it clear he wasn't interested in talking to us. Can I ask you about the charges against your parents? But at his brother's preliminary hearing, Jamie did talk. And even though he asked for cameras not to show his face, he dropped a courtroom bombshell. Telling the court four days after Anna vanished, he called for a family meeting and asked Andrew if he knew what happened to Anna. He made some statement along the lines of, if they find the body, I'm Oh, Jamie's wife, who didn't want her face shown either, says her husband was in shock. My husband came flying up the stairs in tears. I ran out the front door of their house. We kind of met in the middle of the sidewalk. He said, get the keys, let's go. The courtroom was packed again for day two of the preliminary hearing, but within minutes, it was over. The judge ordered Andrew Hudson to stand trial for Anna's murder. Then minutes later, outside court, came this stunning announcement from police. I received some additional information that we've acted on, and now we believe that we've recovered the remains of Anna. Cops won't say where Anna was found or what ultimately led them to her body. An autopsy will help investigators determine exactly how she was killed. Anna's friends and family believe they already know. How do you think that day played out? When you walk in his side door, that's the basement. So I think she didn't even see it coming because I know my friend. I know that she would have fought for her life. You think he ambushed her that day? I believe so. Because why would you tell somebody to come over there and your kids ain't even there? Melinda has custody of her sister's three kids who are suddenly without both their parents. It's hard every day. It's a different challenge. Everyone charged in connection with Anna Carrillo's death has pled not guilty. Andrew is the only one still behind bars. He's being held without bail until his trial.